Europe is witnessing a rising trend of shrinking democratic space that is harmful to the enjoyment of human rights, as states implement laws and policies that restrict the right to privacy or freedom of assembly. In such a context, the work of human rights defenders in Europe is critical. Human rights defenders are individuals and organizations who speak up and act in defense of human rights. However, when democratic space is at risk, human rights defenders increasingly face challenges and threats, including funding cuts and physical and verbal attacks. National human rights institutions, in compliance with the Paris Principles, are internationally recognized as human rights defenders, expected to promote and protect human rights. National human rights institutions are mandated to use their public voice and legal powers to protect other human rights defenders. This is done in many different ways. In 2015, in the aftermath of the Paris terrorist attacks, the French government declared a state of emergency. The French National Human Rights Institution understood the potential dangers such measures present for human rights. As such, they monitored the government's actions. Using both judicial analysis and information from a range of experts and NGOs, reports and press releases were published every two months, informing the public of how government security measures were having a negative impact on people's rights and democratic freedoms. Croatia. 2016 witnessed dramatic cuts to public funding for civil society organizations working on human rights and democratization. In response, the Croatian National Human Rights Institution engaged in public consultations about the impact of the cuts and made recommendations to government and parliament. The result? In 2017, amendments were made to state budgets, resulting in an increased allocation of funding to civil society organizations promoting human rights. In Georgia, a human rights activist from an area outside of state control faced physical danger and criminal charges as a direct result of her human rights work. When the defender was repeatedly harassed and detained, the Georgian National Human Rights Institution used its power to raise public awareness and demanded that her rights to due process and a fair investigation was respected. National human rights institutions face the same challenges as other human rights defenders. For example, since 2016, the Polish government has reformed the justice system, restricting the right of assembly and cut funding for civil society organizations. In response, the Polish National Human Rights Institution used its mandate to issue legal opinions in public statements submit formal complaints and participate in parliamentary interventions. As a consequence, the institution has faced threats aiming to undermine and dismiss its mandate. It was deprived of adequate state funding and was subject to unfounded criticism on the remit of its work. In a challenging European context, it becomes even more important that human rights defenders support each other. The European Network of National Human Rights Institutions has a policy on how to support NHRIs when facing threats and cooperates with a wide range of bodies to do so. To find out more about national human rights institutions across wider Europe and how you can work with them to promote and protect human rights for all, visit the ENRI website at ennhri.org.